If you reject people when they are doing the unthinkable, you will not live to see a day when they will do the impossible. If we reject people when they are high, we won't live to see a day when they're filled with the most high. If we reject people when they got admitted to, you know, to the jail, not because of preaching the gospel in the mall, but because of some other unhealthy reasons. If we reject people when they fall and they stumble and we completely push it away and say, I don't want to do nothing with you. My friends, we won't live a day to see when these people can do great things for God, even better things that we can do. Can somebody say amen? When Apostle Paul, before he was a Paul, he was a murderer. He went around killing Christians, went around dragging people out of their houses and admitting them into prison. He comes to Damascus with letters from the high priest to do exactly the same. But God meets him. It makes him blind. And when he goes into and he spends their three days without eating and without drinking, cries out to God and in some other house in Damascus, God tells Ananias, Ananias, go to the street, the straight street and in this house ask for Saul. Ananias said, who? Saul who? He said, yes, Saul, the one who has papers to take you, Ananias, into prison. Go to his house, Ananias, and pray for him. Lord, before I lay hands on him, he lay hands on me and deliver me into prison. I am not going, God. And this is what God tells Ananias. Ananias, you see him as a man who does the unthinkable, but I already see him as a man who will do the impossible. I see him as a man who will write the two thirds of New Testament see you see him as a murderer I see him as a murderer I see that apostle Paul will spread the gospel everywhere and that he at the end of his life he will die being beheaded for the cause of Christ and some history says that the guys who were carrying him to get beheaded some of them got saved because how boisterous and passionate Paul was my friends never give up and we as church have to have a soft heart in our heart for those who are doing the worst because usually they're the ones who are the best for God those who are the most in sin the most serving God because when they get saved they don't like lukewarm Christianity they don't like sit in church for eight years and not start a home group they don't understand how you can be a Christian and not pray they don't if doesn't fit into their mind how you can serve God and not love people and save people and heal people they want to go radical for God and God says if you don't reject them when they're doing the unthinkable I can turn it around and make him do the impossible. Can somebody say amen? This is the vision. This is the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the heartbeat of God. Zacchaeus did not become a miracle because on his own. He became a miracle because somebody stopped judging him. Somebody stopped avoiding him. And somebody got into his comfortable bubble right there amongst the leaves and said, Zacchaeus, I know you who you are. I care about you and your life will never be the same and that's going to be us that's going to be me that's going to be you and that's going to be our city can somebody say amen